Hey guys, so welcome back to another Curvy Girl Styling Tips video and today we are talking about skirts. Now before I get into skirts I have a little bit of a cold and also my daughter has decided that sleep is not on her schedule anymore. <laughs> so I've had three hours sleep. <laughs> but we're gonna power through, we're all good, we can do this. <laughs> I'll quickly just take you through the outfit that I'm wearing today. So in my last video where I spoke about tops and um, we went through this outfit in more detail but I'm wearing this um, waistcoat and matching blazer from Oak and Fort um, and then I've got some white trousers on from Uniqlo um, and yeah this is such a beautiful blazer and waistcoat and I love that it matches it makes me feel very put together but yeah you can see more about that outfit in my previous email email video <laughs> I'll email you later so skirts um, they're actually one of my most favourite items of clothing at the minute and they're an item of clothing that when I find a really good one it makes me really excited. A skirt always makes me feel so much more put together than probably a lot of other things and actually as we move into spring it's something that I get even more excited about than kind of wearing it in winter because I'm definitely like a trousers and jeans kind of winter girl. Um, so a lot of the styling that I'll be doing today is kind of more transitional. I am so over winter at the minute. I don't want to see another coat. I don't want to wear another coat. I know I'm probably going to have to, but I don't want to. So that's obviously why a lot of this styling is going to be more kind of transitional. So we're not fully into spring yet and it's cold here in the UK, but we're kind of heading that way. Now, just as a reminder, I am a UK size 12, 14. I'd just like to remind in each of these videos in case anybody is new here. Um, and I had a baby 15 months ago, so um, that's kind of where my body is. And there's obviously a few insecurities, although I'm trying to get over them, uh, that I have around my body, including my stomach, um, where I like to obviously dress around that. So as always, I'm on a self-love journey and um, I'm trying to enhance these areas rather than just obviously cover them up. Um, so yeah, that's obviously what we're gonna be looking at today in terms of the styling for these skirts. Now. Just so you know, as an FYI, these skirts obviously look amazing on everybody. I'm just going to be showing you some kind of curvy girl styling tips, but honestly, these skirts are just going to look good on every body type. So if you see my previous video, so I've done one on trousers, dresses and tops, you'll know that I kind of like to show a look more casually and then more elevated. So maybe if you were going on a date night or you were going um, on a night out with the girls or something like that. So. The first skirt I want to get into is the satin maxi skirt. Now that's had a huge revival I think at the minute and if you guys know, if you've seen my previous videos you'll know how obsessed I am with a satin maxi dress and I feel the same about a satin maxi skirt. So yeah I'm really excited to show you the one I have. This one is from H&M and it's so nice quality and it's so cheap. I think it's £27 which is honestly so good. Um, for a satin maxi skirt of this quality. Now, I am talking about maxi hemlines. In my dress video, you will see that I go on about this a lot again because I am a ball about the maxi hemline rather than the midi hemline. So this is, you can get two different types in H&M. One's more midi, one's more maxi. Obviously this is a maxi one um, and I just really like how elongating and flattering a maxi hemline is. So a slip skirt. It's obviously super, super flattering if you're curvy because it what, what it would do is skim your curves and not cling because obviously we don't want it to be clinging but actually skimming them will still show off your beautiful body, still show off your curves and not completely drown you. So that's what makes this kind of skirt so, so super flattering. Now, I love to style this skirt for the day, super casual with an oversized t-shirt. This Jill Sander one I've had for absolutely years. I actually bought it from the men's section when it first came out because there wasn't one in the women's section. Um, I literally, I think I've had it seven years. Um, it's such a good t-shirt and it literally goes so well with this kind of skirt and it really makes it a more casual look. What I love about a satin maxi skirt is with an oversized t-shirt like this, you can actually wear it loose, so not tucked in at all. Um, that looks absolutely amazing, but if you want to show a little bit more shape in your body, then I would just French tuck the front of the 
the t-shirt which is how I'm showing you now how this is being styled and just gives you just shows off your waist a little bit more is a little bit more flattering and gives your body a little bit more structure but I also love wearing a t-shirt over it completely oversized and it just looks so good especially if you're not feeling great about your stomach that day maybe you're a bit bloated it just covers everything up which sometimes you just want now a satin maxi skirt is obviously such a beautiful skirt for the evening and so easy to elevate and style up if you're going out um at night so i would wear this with a crop vest and then an oversized blazer now throwing an oversized blazer over something small and kind of crop like this just gives you a bit more coverage and i know if you're curvy you might be thinking i've said this in my previous previous videos as well you might be thinking i don't want to wear a crop vest but honestly throw an oversized shirt over it throw an oversized blazer over it and see how you feel because it still is super flattering because you're just seeing that kind of central point of your stomach you're not kind of seeing everything it's covering your arms and it's just such a beautiful look and it really makes you feel elevated for kind of a, a night out um, and then I would wear with a pair of strappy sandals especially as we're going into spring because I can't wear to, wait to wear sandals now we couldn't do a video on skirts without talking about a black mini skirt now a black mini skirt is literally a staple in anybody's wardrobe now I am not the biggest mini skirt wearer not going to say that I am because I have been in the past but I think recently my style has been more that I would go towards a maxi skirt so a mini skirt is kind of a little bit different for me but there are definite ways that I love to wear it and also it's about getting a good mini skirt that you feel comfortable in and flatters your body this one I have from Cos is so incredibly flattering the fact that it's kind of fitted but not overly fitted it just skims all your curves and it honestly is such a beautiful mini skirt it's also not overly short which i like i don't get me wrong i adore a short short skirt but i think in this type of skirt when it's quite fitted and a really classic black mini skirt you want something that's not crazy tight because i think it's just going to be a lot more flattering on your body especially if you're curvy it's also way more comfortable as well no rising up no uncomfortableness just easy now styling a black mini skirt in a casual way is super super easy now the way i like to style it is kind of semi casual if that makes sense so i love styling with knee-high boots and then a really oversized knit now the knee-high boots are obviously more dressy so i guess this might be when you're going i don't know for a brunch or something like that maybe not just kind of a day running around with your kids i couldn't run around with my kids in these boots so <laughs> i'll hold my hands up to that i could not do that so this is obviously more of a smart casual look um but obviously wearing a really super oversized knit with the skirt french tucking is going to really make it look like a really casual look um, this knit is from Beyond Nine. I've shown it in previous videos. It's such a beautiful knit, such beautiful quality as everything is from that brand. Now, elevating a black mini skirt for nighttime is very, very easy, as you can well imagine. Now, I like to wear it with a kind of a nice blouse or kind of a pretty top. This one is from Brat and Boa, and I have had this for a very long time but i'm pretty sure they still stock it if they don't stock it you'll be able to easily find this on vinted or depop i would have thought because a lot of people had it and it was in stock for a very long time so it's not the sort of thing that it's like the sort of thing you can easily get even if it's not in stock so i'll try and find some links actually of um, some people if it's not in stock hopefully it is now this is such a beautiful blouse with a black skirt so it adds some interest also in terms of styling when i'm wearing when i'm kind of doing a night out look and i've got a black mini skirt on i really like to wear tights with it especially as it's kind of still cold at the minute i just think that look is really really nice i would have actually liked a slightly thinner tight but every single time i wear thin tights i put my fingers through them like within the first wearing i bought them from so many places i bought really expensive ones still put my finger through them so this is why these are a little bit of a higher denier which i'm not happy about i want them to be thinner but i don't know what is wrong with me and why i break them so easily um but i love a pair of tights with a pointed heel also if you're curvier and you carry weight in your legs which i absolutely do 
Wearing tights with kind of a pointed heel shoe and a mini skirt is so elongating and so flattering on your legs. So it's something that I absolutely love to do when I'm styling up um, a mini skirt like this. So next we have the knitted maxi skirt and I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit obsessed with this H&M skirt that I'm gonna show you in a minute. I think it's so, so good. Now, a knitted maxi skirt I think is one of the most lovely transitional pieces because it's kind of warm at the minute, especially if you wear tights underneath it um, and kind of boots, but it also works so well going into the summer with sandals as well. So I would wear this now with a similar coloured jumper, so sweater on top um, as a casual look and then I would wear with some chunkier boots or even like a loafer and I just think that looks so lovely for the daytime it's so super comfortable i mean don't get me wrong if you have a 15 month old like me this is going to be covered in avocado and fruit by the end of the day <laughs> but it will wash it will be fine um, and i just think it's such a lovely comfortable and flattering look again i'm going to be french tucking the front of this jumper um into the front of the skirt because again it will just create structure this jumper is slightly oversized but it's not really really oversized so it does need that little tuck at the front just so it gives you a little bit more um structure and it's a little bit more flattering on a curvy body now elevating a maxi skirt for night um it's probably more of a casual item so when i would elevate for night it would be kind of a more smart casual evening rather than being something that's super super going outy if that makes sense so you'd be like out but not out out <laughs> um so for me i would wear with an oversized white shirt and i am obsessed with this look i would actually wear this in the day with pumps as well um when the weather gets a little bit warmer but it, now for now i would wear for a night out oversized white shirt and then I'd wear some heels with that and I just think that just looks so lovely and a more of a dressy bag just to elevate the look a little bit and probably a little bit more dressy jewellery as well because obviously your jewellery will make a real difference when you're elevating your outfit but it's so comfy, I mean how comfy would you be in going for a meal out in this outfit? It's literally the comfiest thing ever. Obviously it's a full oversized look but you guys know that I either like to kind of accentuate curves or I like to go for full oversized so this is obviously more on the full oversized scale. Now the next skirt I want to talk about is a column maxi skirt. Now this is a skirt that is a little bit more fitted and a little bit more structured. Um, you can get kind of looser column maxi skirts but this one I'm going to show you is going to be quite fitted. It's almost like a pencil skirt but it's maxi. Um, which is probably actually how I would describe a column skirt. Now, this one is from Zara and it's a grey one and I absolutely love it. You would, you may, if you're curvy, feel a little bit scared of styling a skirt like this because it is so fitted. But that's obviously where I want to show you how I would style this skirt for day and for night and how easy it is to style a skirt like this and how you don't need to be afraid of it. Now, for day, I absolutely want to layer this skirt so as it is such a fitted skirt you can afford to go for some layers on the top and that will obviously hide your tummy and you know what this is going to be the best workwear look as well by the way like this look of the office is just so good like i want to go to an office and wear this so i can wear this <laughs> um i would also wear this casually in the day maybe more of a weekend look rather than like a running around with my kids look but definitely something that I would wear casually too with the right shoes. Now, I've been obsessed recently with layering a knitted v-neck tank over the top of um, a semi-oversized shirt. You don't want it too oversized because it's gonna create too much bulk underneath um, your knitted tank if it's got too much material. So I'd like to wear, I like to wear a semi-oversized one. This one is from With Nothing Underneath and the knitted tank over the top is from Zara. And then obviously wearing with a flat pair of loafers or pumps just really makes this casual look really cute. And again, so good for the office. Now to elevate the skirt, it's really super easy. It's kind of semi-dressy already. So as you can imagine, it's really easy to actually elevate this. Now, 
I'm kind of going to go for similar styling to how we did with the maxi skirt, the satin maxi skirt, because that really is my go-to with skirts for an evening or a night out look. And I would wear this with a vest top, a belt, there isn't belt loops on this skirt, but kind of just place it where there would be belt loops, and then an oversized biker jacket on top, and then some really nice heels and kind of a sparkly bag. Now, this is obviously this biker jacket is more of a casual item but i absolutely love the juxtaposition that's my literature degree coming out juxtaposition <laughs> the juxtaposition of a more casual outfit with more dressy items especially accessories that is absolutely my style like i love it and i think again if you're curvy just having that extra layer over the top to cover your arms to kind of cover your stomach area, just show that middle section of you, just feels a lot safer and you'll feel a lot comfortable like that, especially when you're wearing more of a fitted item. But it's such a beautiful skirt and as curvy girls, we shouldn't ignore these type of skirts, we should absolutely wear them because they look amazing on curves. So finally, we have a full or voluminous, don't know if you call it that, <laughs> maxi skirt. Now, this is definitely something that is more of an item going into spring and summer but it is definitely something that you can style now so i have this in a navy blue and this is a skirt from cost this is still available actually so i can link for you and i did show in my previous video where i styled it with um one of the tops that i showed in that video and it's just so versatile and there are ways of elevating it because it is more of a casual piece but you can definitely definitely elevate it so as I like to style um, most of my wardrobe, um, I'm kind of going to show you a more oversized look and then a more kind of form-fitting look. Now the oversized look I'm going to show you for the casual look because I just think that looks so lovely for a daytime look styled with kind of a knit. This is actually like a knitted t-shirt which I think is so cool because it's a little bit different to a knitted jumper and also it's really good as we move into spring that it's slightly a, a not as heavy knit and kind of a lighter layer. Um, this is from Amanda the Stories and I think it just looks so lovely with this skirt now because this skirt is kind of a full volume definitely definitely French talk. I wouldn't leave this out because it's not gonna it's just gonna make you kind of look square um, which is not the most flattering look so definitely French tucking the front of this top will look really nice also because it's a light layer it French tucks really nicely um, and then I would wear with a flat pair of shoes um, probably at the minute a pair of loafers but again this would go into spring and summer a pair of sandals which I'm so excited for um, and I just think this looks so nice it's a casual everyday look and it's so comfy because this skirt has an elasticated waist <laughs> and is there anything more comfortable than an elasticated waist i think not <laughs> now elevating for night you may think this is a little bit more difficult with the skirt because it is quite casual but i absolutely love a fitted cardigan or a crop fitted cardigan with this type of skirt now this cardigan is from H&M, I got it really recently and actually I didn't try it on store but I looked at it and I knew I needed a small in it. I am never a small, I am a size 12 to 14 so often a large to extra large um, in the UK. Um, so I, but I knew by looking at it that the way I wanted it to fit, which you'll see how I'm showing you now, is kind of it, it buttons up really fitted and then it kind of opens at the bottom where I've undone the bottom couple of buttons. This is really, really flattering just to see that little bit of skin. It draws your eye to the middle of your waist, um, which really makes your proportions look lovely if you're curvy. It shows off your figure, it shows off your curves without being too form fitting. And I just think this is such a flattering look. Again, absolutely dress up with your accessories wear some really nice dressy shoes, a really nice dressy handbag. Accessories like that, when you're wearing an outfit that could be more casual pieces, really makes an outfit look dressy. And that's my styling, I absolutely love that. So thank you for watching my video today. Um, I've loved talking about styling skirts, it's been so lovely. Obviously I always love talking to you guys and if you have any suggestions, please let me know or anything you wanna see. Obviously I am on Instagram, I'm on TikTok. Instagram is kind of my 
that's my thing. I'm quite new to YouTube, but I'm absolutely loving it. Loving to that I get to see this long form content for you. And but yeah, follow me on those other channels and I'll see you for my next video, which is going to be jeans. What do we struggle with most as curvy girls? Jeans, so I'm excited to show you that because I've really invested in jeans recently. Anyway, that's for the next video, Grace. Don't get carried away.